Hello friends, welcome to the very first video tutorial for Visual Basic for Applications in Excel. And well, I'm going to be using Excel 2016, but you can use basically I think whatever version you have. Uh, as long as it's uh, from Excel 2007 and above, you should be okay, probably even before that. Um, BBA haven't changed really. Uh, BBA is basically Visual Basic, just with a, it's kind of like an, an adaptation to be able to work inside of the applications of Microsoft Office. So what we're going to be learning here, you can, uh, many of the concepts you are actually going to be able to apply them to Microsoft Word, uh, Access, PowerPoint, and even to the to your Outlook account, you can make um, some macros you can program with VBA and you can automate some of the tasks that you need to do and it's it's something very very nice uh, to see that something that took you I don't know 30 minutes a day to do it manually once that you learn how to automate that task with VBA it will take I don't know maybe two minutes and it's gonna save you a lot a lot of time uh, so, as it's my use or my custom, um, this first video tutorial is just going to be like an introduction uh, to the series. And so, this is going to be uh, some kind of a boring stuff, maybe, but I think it's very important for you to know. Uh, especially if, hopefully, you are going to be following this uh, series to learn or just to improve a little your your skills on VBA um, so that you know what to expect and I mean who am I basically and and who is your teacher in this case or your instructor um, well first of all this is gonna be a, a translation for the series that I have already created in Spanish um, you can find it in my in my channel um, well, if you arrived here looking for the tutorials, but you actually speak Spanish, I have already made 45 videos of uh, how to work with VBA. But, well, if you are uh, an English speaker only, well, just for you to know, this is going to be just a translation. Um, another thing is that I am not a systems engineer, a computer scientist, IT guy, or something like that. Actually, I am a chemical engineer. Who just happens to like these kind of things about programming I have been learning as much as I can and I have witnessed it uh, firsthand the benefits of being able to um, automate some of the tasks that I need to do daily in Excel and actually I have been able also to create some of these workbooks automated workbooks for some of my co-workers and they have uh, benefit from it as, as well so it's a very um, gratifying process, I think, because in the end it's a creation, a creation uh, process. Uh, so as I am not a system engineer or something like that, um, well, this is the, the next one. <laughs> uh, you can expect some improper terminology that I'm gonna be using maybe, or some concepts I'm not gonna be using the proper names again. Um, so if you are a perfectionist or one of those people that, that everything has to be perfect and named properly, well, you might be making some, uh, <laughs> well, you might be frowning a little bit from some of the things that I'm going to say, but going one row back, uh, this is a complete beginner's course and it's especially for people that um, is not a systems engineer or an IT guy or something like me. Uh, so. For me, the terminology is not that important. I hope that it is not for you either. Um, the important thing is that you learn how to do these things, make them work and work for you, and well, get the, the benefits. Um, the other thing is that as a chemical engineer, not an IT guy, if I was able to learn about these things, I'm pretty sure that you can do it too. So instead of being discouraged because, oh, this guy is not a systems engineer, you know, 
On the contrary, I want to encourage you to stay here and see these videos. And again, if I have been able to learn these things, I'm sure that you will learn them too. And I hope that I can teach, teach these uh, things to you. And uh, the other thing, and I think by this, uh, we are about uh, five, five minutes of video, I think it's pretty obvious that, well, English is not my native language. My native language is Spanish. Uh, I am from Mexico. Uh, so my apologies in advance if I say some stupid things uh, during the video, or if maybe I just make some uh, pauses just to think about some concepts, try to bring the words to my, to my head, in Spanish, then I have to make the translation in my mind and finally say the words. So again, now you know why. Uh, my apologies in advance. Uh, but well, I hope that is bearable uh, for you and you, you will stay watching these videos. Um, this is again going to be a complete beginner's course in VBA, but you would definitely uh, need to have some experience using Excel. Uh, I have also a video tutorial series for Excel 2016 actually in um, in my channel so if you are new to Excel please go ahead and watch those videos practice a little bit get familiar with Excel and then come back and start learning how to automate uh, some of your tasks by using VBA now what you can expect from this uh, course some of uh, the concepts that we're going to be learning here, and, and I found I have found this very nice about VBA. VBA is actually a programming language. Maybe it's a small one. It's not as as powerful, I don't know, as C Sharp or Java or something like that. But in the end, it's a programming language. And you are going to be creating some code uh, to tell Excel what you want it to do. So that's basically, again, programming but uh, if you are new to programming don't again don't get scared if I have been able to learn this I'm pretty sure that you will learn it too and again the, the nice part about this is that it's it's pretty simple VBA is actually pretty simple and for you guys being a, an English speakers I mean you will see that the code it's basically sometimes like writing in plain English um, Many of these concepts will apply or you can apply it in some other programming languages. So if you learn them here and then you want to go to another or to a different programming language, again, like maybe Java, C++, or Python, I don't know. Uh, some of these things are going to be pretty familiar to you. You will obviously need to learn the new uh, syntax, how to write the, the expressions. But the concepts, again, are going to be pretty much uh, the same. So we're going to be seeing uh, how to create modules, uh, subroutines. Basically, everything has to be contained inside of a subroutine, except for the functions. But let's say that a function is kind of like another flavor of a subroutine. We're going to see how to add comments to our code, uh, how to create, uh, declare, and use variables to store our data in those variables. Uh, what kind of types of data are available and how to use those. We're gonna be seeing how to make arithmetic operations, comparison operations, logical operations. Uh, we're gonna see how to take decisions so that uh, our code can do different things depending if some condition is, is true by using the if, else if, and else block. Um, we're also going to see how to make decisions uh, with another block, that is the select case. Um, we're going to see how to repeat code or using uh, two different types of loops, which are the for loop and the while loop. Well, actually, the while loop are, we have the do while and the do until loops. Um, we're going to see how to use arrays of data. Uh, how to uh, use some of the built-in functions that we have available on VBA, how to create our own functions with and without parameters, how to create and use uh, some of the user forms, and, well, many, many other things. Um, 
So that's basically what you can expect from this course. Again, it's a complete beginner's course for BBA, but you will need to learn, I mean, to know some of, uh, some of Excel, be at least familiar with Excel. And well, that's, that's I think basically it. And uh, the next video we're gonna see how is it that the uh, VBA generates code when we are recording a macro. And then finally, we're gonna start creating some, uh, some code from scratch. So I want to invite you to stay. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet so that you can receive uh, notifications whenever I upload new videos about VBA. Uh, and well, again, I hope that you find this series, all these videos very, very useful. If that's the case, please share them with your friends and give them a like. And well, thanks all of you for watching and I really hope to see you here and that you enjoy this, this journey and learning VBA. Thanks to all.